is it Thursday? Yeah. It's Thursday. <laughs> this is me every <laughs> single day. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. As you tune in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on. It is Christmas week, and today I have a special guest, someone I have known in the blogging community for, gosh, like probably six, seven years. A long time. At least. Um, so we're super excited. Jennifer Priest is here from Smart Fun DIY. She has an amazing uh, craft room Instagram that we have linked down below. Seriously, if you need craft room inspiration, organization ideas, Cricut Craft Rooms, there's a lot of them over there. Head on over, follow her. She also, when did you get your Cricut Maker? Um, February. So you've had it <laughs> since February. You yeah. have lots of blog posts teaching people like your perspective. Can, did you do you have a comparison on different machines or just? I don't have a comparison right now. But you have like an overview of your thoughts on the maker. Yeah, because it came from making with all these other machines before. Right. right. So with that, we're super excited to be able to showcase that. So be over to be sure to head on over and try it out. Um, but yeah, as you guys tune in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on. Guys, we have been blown away with this flash cell. JP, we've never had a flash cell before, but I had no idea how much people were like, boom, flash cell. I love it. That you guys are loving it, so we really have to make sure to take care of you guys. We're going to open it up for like 20 more seats um, today, so if you missed out <laughs> on the other days. I promise today's the last day. Um, it was, I really not did too bad. It's been like 48 hours, which is still a pretty decent flash sale. But we, you know, the 20 seats yesterday went, so we're opening up for 20 more. So grab it while it's hot if you want the year membership. Again, flash sale coupon code FLASH35. All the details in the description box down below. Rachel's got the good links for you today. We're making a fun project. Yeah, it's super cute. I mean, I'm really excited for this one. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And have you been able to do a lot of like multi-layer vinyl projects? Not yet. I've done a couple with like HTV, but Okay. So this is a chalk couture frame. Have you seen everyone like selling the chalk couture? Mm -hmm. uh, so we got it to kind of play around with it and test it out. But the one thing I found that I became obsessed with were these frames. So it's been pretty good. They're really great quality, a little expensive, but they're definitely worth it because what we do is we can, like after this project, after the holidays, peel it up and then we don't even need, you know, to, it doesn't ruin anything. We use removable, removable vinyl. Ooh. That way throughout the holidays, you know, this is a pretty much an evergreen frame. So we'll have it forever. So um, can everyone hear JP? Is everything okay? Should we try to the, give her the other mic? You might a little closer. Okay. okay. Do you want to talk to her? <laughs> speak up, or. Should, has anyone made any comments? Should we try to give her the other mic? We've just, just had see? one or two. Either she, maybe you okay. can speak up a little bit or I you can, can get a little closer. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Just project, scream. <laughs> That's what I do every day. <laughs> but we're super excited. Rachel, what's everyone got going well, on in the Tim, comments? I see lots of we comments. We have people from Wisconsin. Oregon, Ooh. Canada, Texas, California, Missouri. We have people from everywhere. Ooh. Okay, and so we have a question. We already about have a question. The, um, membership, real quick. Patty yes. wants to know if Hi, she doesn't Patty. have a PayPal, can she still join? Yes. So you are able to join without having a PayPal account. You can use your credit or debit card, but it will require you to create like a password and things like with PayPal so that if there's any updates to your membership, we do not control any of the payment processing. So like, Thanks. I don't have your credit card numbers, I don't want your credit card numbers. Um, <laughs> so that's our, super secure. Super secure and they handle that for you. So yes, you can just use whatever payment method you prefer. PayPal just handles that for us. So it's not really an account. Um, so yeah, that's a great question. And seriously, take advantage of the 20 spots because they went super fast yesterday. Again, the Instagram messages were like so talking about how they are sad they missed out. So extended one more day, grab it, get it, um, and we're super excited. So you can use that on a summit ticket, the pro class, the membership, whatever you need, especially if you're a cricket beginner. Like we've really put this year membership tier up to like three or four hundred dollar value because you have to be a year member to get access to our fonts. You have to be a year member to get access to our three training courses that are completely free to your members. And they would cost more to buy it. Oh yeah. If, like we like we value. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we really value stacked you guys. So it's really cool. Um, but anyway, this for is going to be a for fun those project. of us just joining us. Who's crafting with you today? <gasps> this is my friend Jennifer. So that's what I want to talk about. Right. Let's talk about how 
how this happened, like that you were just so <laughs> happened to be. Because you all know I live in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee. <laughs> so what are you doing? You're from California, mm -hmm. um, outside of LA, yeah. and you're in Tennessee. Yeah, How'd you so. get here? <laughs> So yeah, I, I work, you know, like Tanner, I kind of work for myself and um, I haven't really taken advantage of it. And my son, I don't know if you guys saw this going around on Facebook a couple months ago, this like ultimate U.S. road trip map. So I, I was able to see it, but it seemed yeah. crazy. That's, is that's why, I, did you like follow that? Because I, no. okay, <laughs> no. but the days, are they similar? No, I oh, mean, okay. it, well, I think it takes like 30 days. Okay. But I just use it as like inspiration, and so I kind of looked along the way of places that we wanted to go and started mapping it out. You went to Waco, Texas. Yeah, we went to, yeah, we started in Arizona, we went from California, Arizona to see my parents. Love it. Went to Waco, did Magnolia Table. No, you I didn't. I was about to say How Magnolia. was it? It's yummy, it's yummy. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> and this was my second time going to Magnolia Table. I still haven't been once. Rachel, when are we going? Well, anytime you want. <laughs> I, when I hear Waco, Texas, I just think of Chip and Joanna. I'm I know, like, me too. Well, you know what else What else is there is the Dr. Pepper Museum. And you oh. can get, like, real sugar Dr. Pepper. And, like, there's a whole, like, bottling company and everything. Sounds like they got a lot of cool stuff. There. Yeah. That's so funny. So Where's after Waco. Where's the favorite place you've been so far? Ooh, ooh. I bet so, you just love Florida in the Florida uh, no, July. No. I had to escape from Florida like real quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no, my favorite place was um, like the Biloxi area in Mississippi. The beaches are Yes, beautiful. you were telling me about that. The houses are super cute. Um, That's cool. Yeah, it was surprising because I didn't expect any of that. Right. I've, I, when they were telling me how much they love Mississippi, I said, I literally have no idea where it is on the map. <laughs> And that's the truest statement. I mean, like, whew. Rachel, do you know where Mississippi is? Tanner, I got a D in geography, okay? <laughs> she just gave me a D so that I wouldn't be in her class again. Okay, don't ask me nothing. Oh, my gosh. I love shame. it. I yeah. love it, love it. So then you went to Atlanta yesterday. Yeah, so we came up from Florida to Atlanta, and um, then you figured out that I was on Florida. I literally, so we were talking to one of our mutual <laughs> friends and she mentioned JP. So I was like, I've got to check in on Jennifer and see what she's up to. And then I just said, I think I just texted you like, how are you? And you're like, you want to do dinner tomorrow? I'm like, what? You're in my neck of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. So yeah, we've been hanging out and it's been fun. And I'm glad that you're able to be here. So um, aside from cricket, what else do you do on the blog? So that everyone knows what to expect. So I do have like food and recipes and those kinds of things, travel, but a big part of my blog is about craft room organizing. So I'm like super passionate about craft rooms. I always do these tours every year. Jennifer probably wants to reorganize mine because we are still slowly <laughs> moving into our space and it's still just stuff on the floor everywhere. <laughs> but you get to see a halfway decent part. <laughs> it's cute. It's good. Aw, thanks. <laughs> but we love it. But yeah. If you want to have any questions for Jennifer, let us know while we can ask. We don't have guests often. I never know what to... Someone said they live super close to Waco, and those are two great places to visit. Love it. Yeah, love they it. love where all you guys have been. Yeah. <laughs> cool deal. Well, guys, it is Christmas in July week. This is the project we're making. We'll give them the second camera so they can really take in what we're making today. As you guys know, we're all about giving you these styled projects so that you're able to really see what we've got going. And Tanner, don't act like we didn't just go to Hobby Lobby and see stuff like the same style I mean, style as seriously, this. guys, you don't have to go and spend money at Hobby Lobby when you can make these yourself at home. And guess what? You get that customization for the colors, for the vinyl, whatever you need for your decor is going to be great. And Rachel, I just want to point out from our, our Hobby Lobby strategy session, um, that green in replacement of the red, I'm just so saying, cute. could really so work cute. for me this year. Um, there's some really good trendy greens that are like not like regular green. Um, like what? It, what it's would you like call? A, it's like a okay, soft. So Memo B loves that green. She paints everything that green. I need, we need to ask called? the expert. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say sea foam because sea foam like is more sage. like a. Maybe it's a really nice green that's like not in your face, like elegant, like with my black and white plaid Christmas. I think it's going to be that one touch that is just going to take it from like here to really over the top.
We're really excited. But Rachel, how many friends do we have crafting along with us we today? We have 111 friends Hello, at this friends. very moment. And we I'm have so one qu uh, question okay. for um, Miss Jennifer. Ooh. Uh, Elizabeth asks, as far as like organization goes, she said, what would you recommend for a closed shelving unit in a very small space? Okay. So one of the ideas that I like the best that um, I've shared on my site is TV armoires. Go to the thrift shop, get a TV armoire because it has the doors and it shuts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can paint it however you want. And there's a big space where the TV was, so you can put shelves, you can stack art bins. Yeah. You can organize your Cricut mats. You can put all kinds of different racks up there. Put pegboard in there. Ooh, you could also, if you're a big scrapbooker and paper crafter, you could get one of those tiny, like, um, however they organize the papers. So you could just, like, pop that in because you couldn't really find something like that anywhere else, right? Like, you have to have that extra well, space yeah you could get like those jet max cubes that <gasps> that's Michael's. a throwback i haven't yeah. heard them in forever <laughs> gotta love the jet max cubes everybody used those so long are they still trending what what are what are your, your trends lot. so i want to you know, know what's funny on best craft rooms people on instagram message me a lot on their yeah instagram which account. i'm gonna have to just give you a visual so keep keep telling us about <laughs> what the trends are just for everyone that's not already following best craft rooms so definitely white white furniture, clean lines, mm -hmm. like, you know, kind of what yeah. you going on here. And it's funny because people will message me and they're like, we want to see real rooms. We want to <laughs> see different color rooms. All the rooms are right, are white. And when I post a room that's not white, it doesn't do very well. Right, right, Nobody right, right. likes it and I mean, on it. just look at all these different <laughs> spaces. And these are, this isn't technically like you post your own space, but you curate hundreds yeah. of other craft rooms. Oh my gosh, the and white, the thing look that, at, Rachel. This, this is like exactly what's on trend. You've got things stacked and organized. You have stuff cute and cute colors. Are you loving the Ikea pegboards? I don't have one, okay. but I do like the way that they look. They look a lot mm -hmm. more sophisticated than like yeah, a the traditional. circle pegboard. Right, right, right. And then the big circle pegboards, I feel like just aren't very versatile. Yeah. Yeah, oh my gosh, I love, I mean, all the craft rooms, like you can seriously, like this right here looks, I love the craft rooms like this because you know it's easy to clean up. Mm -hmm. Like some of the other ones that we were scrolling through, I'm like, how long does it take to look like that? Yeah. But this, I feel like, you can see she's got some like bins and bins, mm -hmm. so it looks organized, but maybe inside those second bins. You just throw it, right? And they you can just, all go follow this into the description, correct? Oh, yes. Yeah. The link is in the description. So for anyone that wants to go check out um, her uh, Best Craft Rooms account, oh, almost 70,000 people are following it. So <laughs> you know it's a good account. Um, but yes, you can check out all the craft rooms because there's so much inspiration. And we have a membership question. Ooh, They're membership wondering question. about the amazing um, year membership. Stephanie it. says, how does the commercial license work? What are the restrictions? That's a great question. So as long as you are physically taking the cup off and putting it on something and it's under like a 500, so as long as you do it under 500, um, that is part of our commercial license. You would need like a um, enterprise license if you're doing like over 500. Um, but you cannot sell the artwork with a commercial license. That's and you totally mean 500 different. quantity. Like 500 if you're quantity. Selling 500 so shirts. 500 shirts. So of, of one design. So anything under that, which is typically all of our most of our clients um, and customers here, love our commercial license in that year membership, and you get to use that on um, any project that you're using the art, the digital art on a machine. Um, and that's cut files and fonts, correct? Cut files Both. and fonts. Yeah. So we've had you members, do get those fonts with that yearly We've membership. had members come on here and say, I was able to get a membership, show the font catalog to our um, customers. I think Tanner's it, mic's out. Hang on. Hello. Hello. It looks fun, though. It looks fun. I don't know. Guys, let us know. It could be a YouTube thing. You Ooh. never know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I have no idea. Um, is multiple people saying this? Yeah. Great. Four. Great. Oh, no. If you hear me, let me know. Um, but oh, Kathy just said back now he was gone for a few minutes. Oh. Oh, no. I hope it's not a big they issue. They missed the answer on the commercial license. Yes. is <laughs> If you're under 500 quantities of one design, you are good. You do not need an enterprise license as long as you're using the artwork to make projects. And what's really cool is it works on cut files and font, Stephanie. So you're able to make as many, um, pretty much under 500 as you would like to sell. And you're able to monetize things like our trendy artwork, because we do a ton of research on what's trending for the year to curate you guys with the best cut files every single month. 
so that you're able to use not only for your own business but your personal use as well um, and as long as you're um, you know having fun with it and making the project you're pretty much good to go so but a yeah. lot of those memberships don't have a commercial license there's at all. not it's a and really especially big for the fonts so they're normally like a ton like hundreds of dollars to get a commercial license for a font um, but that's included in our membership. So the flash sale today, we added 20 more seats um, that you can get your year membership or a summit ticket or the pro class. All those are included and linked down below to grab. Use the coupon code FLASH35 to take advantage of that and they're, go, they're going quick. So grab it while it's hot and we're super excited. So lots of craft room trends. Um, are there anything that you see particular to die cutting enthusiasts that is different about their craft rooms than say scrapbookers or card makers? I mean, vinyl storage is like a major. How do you, would you, how do you organize your vinyl? Because what we do, this is, I mean, this is all we do. Like we, we just, we try to organize it by like brand and like vinyl versus heat transfer vinyl. But I feel like I can't see what I have. What would be some tips that you would have for being able to see know what you have so you don't keep buying it like I do. <laughs> so if you don't have too much vinyl, like if you don't have a huge quantity, those Alex drawer units from Ikea, the five, mm -hmm. the, is it five, six drawers mm -hmm. on the casters, the like low wide one. Do they the fit? The rolls fit perfectly in there. So then you can line You can all open up the drawer. And see exactly you what You could have you one have. drawer iron on, one drawer vinyl, one drawer miscellaneous. I have one drawer with mats. Oh! And, like, and then you could so do you feel like an Alex cart would be really good for like beginner crafters that are wanting to keep things contained? Yeah. Because the machine could also sit on the top, right? Oh yeah, it's totally wide enough for that. I'm getting ideas out of here. <laughs> well, and the other thing that I like about it is if you're not, if you don't have that much vinyl or that much Cricut, that many Cricut accessories yet, mm -hmm. You can then use the other drawers for other stuff. Yeah, yeah. You put some you cardstock, know, a paper trimmer. Room to yeah. grow, room to grow. I love this, Rachel. Do you know what drawer unit we're talking about? Yeah, I yeah. love that, and they're, they're perfect. perfect. I never thought about vinyl in the in the drawers. Sounds yeah. great for a small space. Definitely. Yeah. Well, they go like under that. your table. Oh, okay. Those roll right mm -hmm. under. I love the wheels. You can get them People in black. People are saying, Mrs. Sussette said, Alex carts are the best. <laughs> <laughs> I see. We have some diehard fans of our IKEA. That's a lot of fun. Rachel, any other questions before we jump into the project? I think everybody's ready to get crafty. Right. Just check your mic real quick. Just make sure that it's like outside your shirt up is at the top not, and stuff. It is. It's in. Um, so, some shirts work better than others, but hmm, it is what it is today, guys. <laughs> it's been a day. Anywho, we're going to jump over to the iPad. Uh, we see some people commenting on the L YouTube. L YouTube. Um, go out just a tad from my phone. Um, Jennifer, do you ever use the iPad app on for Cricut Design Space? So that's what I started with. Okay. I have an iPad Pro. I love it. Now, what are your yeah. thoughts so far? Are you loving it? I like the iPad app better because when I tried to use it on my laptop, I couldn't figure it out. It just <laughs> seems like so much easier. Yeah. And then you can just stand right there. Or you know what I actually did the other day? Okay. I was sitting on my couch and designed stuff mm -hmm. and I went and I loaded it with the mm -hmm. vinyl and then it's like totally in the other room <laughs> cutting. I love it. I mean, the iPad for us has been a game changer just because, I mean, obviously it helps like production, but we love being able to like actually like move things around, size it. I feel like you're able to like just be more into the project. It's more hands-on. Like yeah, yeah, it's more actually hands-on. Maybe you, you're still using technology, but you're able to like size it. And we always do a lot of mock-ups. So we'll like say size this and then put it on the Cricut canvas and then design sizes perfectly and then delete the background so we just can see it. We did that for um, the ornaments earlier this week. We made some little embroidery hoop ornaments over oh, there. Cute. Yeah, we tried to make them like letterboard inspired with some fabric. What was the fabric called? A corduroy. Corduroy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we did that with like just little cardstock letters, but I wanted to be able to visualize exactly the circle, so we just sized it and put a circle in there. So easy. So we'll do that today if you and guys are curious. And the frame is tour. We're not really sure like skew number or anything oh, like that. Oh yeah, just... it's just a, um, I think this is like eight and a half or nine by 11. Mm -hmm. Well, is that what you had to do? Yeah, it looks like <laughs> well, a nine by 11. Luckily we have our handy dandy oh, yeah. tape measure because we always get questions. Oh, 
9 by 12. 9 by 12. Maybe that helps you guys. Yeah, nine so by 9 12 by 12, chocolate tour. tour frame. I think this is like one of their flagship frames. Guys, vinyl goes on here so well. You can clean this with rubbing alcohol. Anything chocolate tour vinyl loves to stick to. Yeah. And, it, and HTV. We've done a lot of heat transfer vinyl projects on yep. chocolate tour frames too. That's true. If you're going to do this, I would recommend pulling out that mini easy press so you're able to get in there and really work on it. But also, we would not mind ironing on wood. I don't really like to iron on um, with things with this lip because it's just kind of hard to get that heat press in there. But anywho, let's head over to the iPad and grab our cut file. We're going to first start at makersgonnalearn.com. We just loaded up the brand new cut files. So if you are looking to find these cut files on the site, you would just simply go press cut files and you're going to be able to load. And then you scroll on down and you can see the newest collection. Now, PSA real quick, we um, are having to remove all of our Disney files because we do not want to get sued. We've so, had a lot of questions on those. I don't oh, know if I should address Yeah, we can not. totally address it. A lot it. of um, questions asking why of, or when. Yeah, so it's August 1st and why we are just going to be protecting ourselves. The best part of growing is um, talking to attorneys and <laughs> double checking ourselves and making sure that you guys are safe, making sure we're safe and not getting lawsuits that would you know, turn the lights off. And we could easily say, please just make them personal use, but it's easier as a business. This is, yeah, you know, how so the thing rolling. is, um, just to make sure everyone's safe, take advantage of that. If you all love these artwork um, and the files, we're gonna love them, but they're going in the vault. <laughs> they're going in the vault. Which they're has not never happened back. and it's not We've gonna happen, never, you know, yeah, a ton. Yeah, so I apologize for having to do that, but we are wanting to make sure we take care of you guys. So we had the team go ahead and curate, grab these cut files, so that you can grab them now before August 1st. So take That's advantage so of that. Um, August 1st. We love it. But yeah, guys, so sorry for the concerns and the scares, but take advantage of it. Please use it for personal use. Um, these are kind of like our final um, gift to you for that array of artwork. Um, but yeah, it's just to protect all of us. So yeah, great question. Sorry yeah. um, that email came kind of abruptly today. So anywho, you have until August 1st. So anyway, the newest collection, Christmas in July, we're just gonna click right here. And what we love about this new platform we have is the old one, you had to download a whole collection mm -hmm. and you couldn't like see what was in it before. So now we just have like all the categories and you can just search. Which is so easy to navigate. It's so easy. The search bar, I just love everything. Yeah. Um, I mean, these are beautiful. Thanks. Like, this is really nice. <laughs> I haven't been inside the membership to see what's in there yet. I'm like, dang, uh, I'm, save me a spot. Yeah. There's only 19 left. <laughs> So one of the cool parts was we never, it was really behind a paywall. But with the new site, if you're not a member, it just won't let you download it. Oh. So if you are thinking about membership, obviously we're going to hook our friend JP up with a membership. <laughs> but um, if you are watching at home and you're like, I need to make sure this is worth my money, um, go peek around because you can see all the artwork. You just can't download it. You can read, look at all the fonts. That's awesome. um, you just won't have the handy dandy grab this cut file download now button. And it'll say grab your membership. So anywho, um, our artwork works with all the die cutting machines, Silhouette, Cricut, Brother Scan and Cut. It's simple SVG PNG. So they work pretty flawlessly across nice. all the boards. Um, so we're just going to download the cut file. And you can work with SVGs on iPad, which wasn't the case for quite a while. Um, but there's a few workarounds for it. You just have to have this, uh, this app called iZip. So it'll unzip the file for you from your iOS app, which is pretty nice. So we open it in iZip. It is free. It is free. That's why nice. we see some ads. But if you, you know, I'm okay with seeing some ads for free help. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have the, the PNG. Here's our five seconds of an ad. Um, oh, there's audio, Star Trek gaming. This is not supported by us. <laughs> <laughs> but you have your artwork, it's right here. And within one click, you have it downloaded. And then you just go over to Cricut Design Space, you launch a new project. We're gonna replace that, that was yesterday's project. <laughs> and we're just going to browse files. And then on my iPad, I zip. You the name of it was Eight Reindeer. <sighs> Rachel's so good. Why? Guys. I don't know. There's no reindeer in it, but that's okay. Hey. I don't know. Is it eight dot? Uh, I think the PNG was dot. Here we go. We have the file. And it's just going to open for us. 
And we're going to name it. We'll call it. Sleigh Rides. Just do. Sleigh Rides. This is so cute, though. And in Hobby Lobby, we saw a ton like this. There's a this lot style. of this. Yeah. Really cute. And their frames. I mean, I love I love me some Hobby Lobby. However, me too. And Tanner, their the color. Their frames are not good. <laughs> no. And you can't reuse them. You know? No, you yeah. can't. Because Tanner, the color in the actual SVG file is like the color that you like. Okay. So let me share with you guys this. Um, I, I'm giving a lot of visuals to my phone today, and I'm kind of okay with it. Um, so this, they already, Hobby Lobby is kind of trend spotting for me. So what would you consider like this green? Like that oh, green's everything. Guys. I feel like it's like an evergreen. Is it? It's so or, like, calming. The burn. picture makes it look a little darker though. It was it's a little very light. light. This store. is the whole setup, guys. Look at Hobby Lobby's hookup for us today. Tanner's found his holiday inspiration. And there was no, <laughs> I just want to say there was no buffalo plaid at our Hobby Lobby yet. Now, granted, there was like five aisles that had nothing on it, but the this was set up in a whole aisle of just black and white plaid. So if that's like a sign, I'm receiving it. <laughs> I mean, do you think that's the same green that's like in the Magnolia stuff at Target? Magnolia kind of. Yeah. I never thought about it because I mean, I've seen that so much. It's like a but... muted, like army green almost. Yes, it, but the mutedness makes it seem like it's worth so it much more money. Does that make sense? Yeah. But Tanner, like, we kind of decided there. that we locked black and white plaid before we even went to Hobby Lobby. But, you know? I mean, I was still just waiting for a sign. Well, it came. And you guys it, know. It came in aisles. <laughs> you guys know I'm a, I, okay, <laughs> Jennifer, I, po I, I posted a picture of me and my grandparents and mom all in plaid uh, pajamas. I ordered those pajamas so last minute. I think I paid more in shipping than I did for the pajamas. So I have hundreds of dollars invested in these PJs. And I, that's the one reason I don't want to switch. Oh my gosh, I love it. Is those the $100 oh in PJs? True. People true. are saying it's sage or an olive green. We're going to be hunting all of it. <gasps> Rachel. Oh my gosh. What? I think I purchased. This could also be. Hold your, hold it, hold it. I, Tanner just likes walking around I with his, just like my wireless, wireless mic. mic. Hold yeah. on, hold just on. showing off, guys. I did not show anyone this. Yeah, they all say it's sage green. Okay. Rachel, there is a bag. Oh, here it is. No, that's not the bag. Okay. False alarm. So sorry. I have no idea where the bag went. But, do, 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 do. I... Is it still in your car? No. Somewhere. I don't know if I showed it on the live stream. I bought my first Annie Sloan paint. Have you ever used Annie Sloan paint? Me either. It's very overpriced. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I can't get like other chalk paint and like yeah. do something similar. But I think I got that exact green. Really? As a tester. So. Pretty. Okay. Good. Could be helping us out. So anyway, we're going to size this. We've already um, figured out what size this is at. You can just go to edit and we're just going to make that width. We can try. We'll do like, mm, you can get pretty up there. We'll do eight point. Seven five. Well, that is definitely wrong. Eight point seven five, um, and that will be pretty good. I'm gonna slice it down just a little bit because we want to make sure we have that room for the edges here. Like we can put that down perfectly. Now, Jennifer, are you good at aligning vinyl? Because I always get so worried about it. No. <laughs> well, it's a definite um, problem. Prep practice makes perfect type yeah. of thing you know the I more mean, you do it yeah okay we, we do too here i just want to make sure you didn't have like some like perfect like because if you did oh, i no. wanted you to show us. oh no <laughs> we don't either um so we'll just be able to press make it and guys we really try to take care of everything for them like we try to eliminate any stress any problems um what it's doing now some people would not like this because it is gonna waste a little bit of vinyl but it's saving us the hassle of trying to place all the snowflakes right where they're supposed to be or mm. placing the sleigh and the little things. If for some reason you would like to do this yourself, you can ungroup all of these and it'll cut and only take up a few inches. Um, you can duplicate it and contour it out and line it up either way. We're gonna do it the easy way because an eight by eight piece of vinyl for me, I would rather risk it. <laughs> It's like 50s. And see, JP. And we're lazy knows. crafters. We're a little lazy crafters here. So, <laughs> anywho, we're using regular removable vinyl today, so we do not have to mirror anything. We're just going to cut it. We're using a standard grip mat. Um, so, we're going to connect via Bluetooth. 
I have to say Cricut's Bluetooth has gotten so much better in the past few years. Oh, yeah. It's really helping. So, Did Wait, you have an Explore? So I got a Cricut Explore Air 2. Two. And the first time, like, I'm a bad Cricut user. The first time that I used it, I went to a scrapbook retreat because I was like, I don't know how to use this. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. took it in the box to the scrapbook retreat. And you're like, and like I'll figure it show out. Me. No, I asked them to show me. And they're like, why do you want us to show you? Because you've been using other cutters mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. years. And um, Can we ask what other cutter you use? So I started with two with Silhouette back in 2007 when it first came okay. out. Okay. I had the first online Silhouette class. Really? Way back in the day. That is, that's a good one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. And then I also used the um, Eclipse from Civic. Oh, I had that one. And I've tried Puzzles. And... That's a throwback. Yeah, what was the one, one that Teresa Collins was with? Remember that one? Um, Craftwell? Oh, yeah, Craftwell. Was it Craftwell? What was that was machine called? I thought... I, well, the name of the company she didn't was Craftwell. A I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I just was like trying to think of another. Machine. Yeah. There's there's three different ones that I've used, I've had and used, and now I can't remember what they are. Have you used the Cricut True Control now? Mm -mm, not yet. Okay. I have it. Okay. I just want you to cut like a, the vinyl off at like 11 inch or something. This is the best craft knife. Off. This is the best craft knife you'll ever. Can I cut ever... it on the mat? Yes, yes, yes. Of course okay, we want you to. Give it a little pressure. Too. Yeah, give it the pressure. Give it the pressure so it cuts that um, bottom too. Give it a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it the pressure, Jennifer. Okay. Yes. You won't hurt nothing. No. The mat. Oh, you will not cut the mat. You can go you deep. Guys, I'm like a noob on cricket. No. Honey, no. I've cut so hard I thought I Look cut through at that. the mat See, and I didn't. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, this is nice. This feels nice. I, I like weight. love this craft knife. We have it in like all the colors. <laughs> so anyway, I just needed to make sure Jennifer knows <laughs> that, that she's got a great tool. Um, so we're just going to load this in here. We've been using the knife blade today, so we're going to... Move our little gods back. Our little stars. We're slowly moving. Sorry. Anyway, do we have any questions, Rachel? Um, let me <laughs> see. Not really. Okay. They're just telling us they think the green is still sage. I love. <laughs> I think that's either they're way. Super concerned about the green. Thank you guys for being concerned because you guys know I need to get that in vinyl. I need to get that in iron on. I need to get that all across the board. Um, to be able to craft with it. Uh, Marcy says Jen does amazing online classes. <gasps> yeah. Oh, uh, do we do we have someone that has taken one of Jen's classes? Do you um, know? Do you know what Make was sure the you name? Give that more pressure. Um, it's Marcy Kresel. Yeah. Kresel. yeah. Okay, Marcy. Her, yeah. Hi, hi, dear. <laughs> Welcome. <didn't> you. <laughs> Don't you love when that happens on the internet? Yeah, yeah it's a smaller place than you think. Yeah. Um, but yes, we're just gonna cut this first one. Have you ever weeded on the mat? Yeah, that's the only way. I saw your video about that, and I was like, who is this person weeding off the mat? Like, you need a lot of people. Position. So many people weed off the mat. And then it gets all crinkled and. How people try to think I'm crazy and it ruins the lifespan of the mat. But if you do it strategically and it's not like you're laying your whole hand and arm over it, oh, yeah. you're fine. And then like, it just comes, it's like muscle memory after a couple mm -hmm, times. Like you mm -hmm. just know what you're doing. We've converted so many here to weeding on the mat. It's, <laughs> I didn't even really, I think it like, probably like you just, just happened. Like I just weeded on the mat and it just was what made sense to me. I mean, Tanner, no wonder people get overwhelmed with all this stuff. If they don't know how to do it right or they don't know the tips. Like yeah. You're, you're going to be overwhelmed, you know. Yeah, that's true. And you guys have a lot of that in your membership, right? We have a lot of you one know, explaining shop. all about the machine so you're not overwhelmed. Like the year membership is setting everyone up for success as a beginner. And that's why we, you know, come here every day. Not only, you know, do we have a member only Facebook group for all of our members that we pour our hearts into and the members pour a lot into to help other new members, but being here every single day I mean, you, you guys know you can come here at 1.30, ask the questions. <laughs> we have the customer service team working seven days a week, 8 to 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, but we also come here and have a great time and make a project. So, yeah, lots of beginner-friendly, like, projects for you um, in the education. So that comes in the year membership. The flash sale, has there even, anyone says that they're taking advantage of it? I know it's like we're lingering it just for the people that have let me know that they need it. 
So if you need it, take advantage of it. Flash 35 at checkout. It's the best deal of the year. Um, $35 off on top of the $48 savings you get being a yearly member versus a monthly member. You're, You're already paying the least double. amount of money for the most amount of our resources. That's true. So why not get 35 extra bucks off? Ooh, Rachel, you tell them, right? Sorry. You I'm, tell I'm them. Just saying. I know a good deal when I see one. Let me just one. go throw this. Tanner purposely gave you guys the deal after I had went to bed because he <laughs> knew that I would be upset because the Rachel yearly membership won't let is me. worth every single penny you pay full price. Yes. And, and it's not more. And our members but, that hey. because I knock on this wood, if it's even real wood, um, no one has, I've not seen any negative comments. So I just want to say thank you guys that if you paid full price, I hope you know that they you're know still the getting value. an amazing deal. They you're know the value. still getting an amazing deal. Yeah. Now, JP, when you're working with vinyl, do you burnish before you start weeding? No. Here's why you need to. So, no, I mean, it makes sense. I already know why. I'm like, oh, why have I not done this before? So Rachel taught me this one. I never thought about it. I, me and her used to always say, oh, it's a vinyl. It was, a, if it was after a depressed day of working with vinyl projects. And it I was, thought, if it could only just stick better, yeah. then I thought, Rachel, you're so dumb. Yeah. Furnish it. I never, I never thought about it. We used to dread working with vinyl because we mm -hmm. always would waste way too much before it, you know, we would get a success. Um, and when we started doing that, it was a game changer for all of us. So I love it. I'm so glad, Rachel, um, we uh, taught me this because... You're, it, so, you're so glad I had that terrible day with the vinyl. Uh, yeah. It, it's, a breakthrough came from it. It saved me so many days. Right. Which is great. But and that's we when do. Happens. Yeah. We, <laughs> you have is. to get frustrated to it be is. innovative. That's when it really sticks in your head, too. You're <laughs> like, I know how good that is because I was having a bad day. Yeah. Um, you, so, you know what it's like without it. Tanner, you know our member, George. <gasps> George, what is up? George is wanting to take the plunge and upgrade. How George. How can he do that? Dude, I'm so excited you're upgrading today. You're not going to regret it, first of all. Best value, especially with this discount. Here's what you got to do. code join and if you joined before we switch to the new site you're going to need to email us hi at makersgonnalearn.com after you purchase your year so that we can cancel that monthly billing cycle so you do not get charged again for a whole year do you know how many launches we're going to have from then we're going to have hundreds of new cut files we'll have over 300 fonts by then you're going to have a great time and you're not going to have to be worrying about that as a monthly bill so that's cool. Mm. Uh, congrats, George. And congrats to Maureen. She <gasps> topped in. She's a brand new member. Hey, Hello. congratulations. And it's Lisa's very first <gasps> live here. Lisa. Oh. Welcome, Lisa. <laughs> We're so excited to have you in our crafty community. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it. And guys, thank you guys so much for... Are you watching me do this? Look, I'm... Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the second camera? I'm having a craft fell over here. Um, I got so excited about Lisa's first time joining. I just ripped this. But Listen, we I barely about have a successful project when I'm actually yeah. paying attention. Vinyl is so forgiving. Iron-on is not that forgiving, mm. but vinyl, man, so forgiving. So look, we, we saved it. If you guys missed it, this like totally peeled up. But Lisa, thank you so much for um, hanging out with us today. We're so excited to have you. And for all of our friends that have been supporting our recent videos, Thank you guys so much because um, Rachel's video that was posted like two days ago almost has like 6,000 views, which is wow. such a great deal for Rachel. It was a how to make decals with your Cricut um, for your car. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's so yeah. cool. Yeah, and she uses Print and Cut and she shares all the tips on I how to... I do Print and Cut and regular vinyl. I give you two She's ways. given two. And that's why the videos are doing so well because Rachel's just pouring into you guys. So if you haven't checked it out. <laughs> go over um check it out yesterday's video do you have a harbor freight oh yeah really so i had not been to harbor freight um until i started researching that they had such affordable alternatives to these bad boys affordable everything affordable yeah. everything true yeah. um but we did well, a video Tana, what did you call it in the video it absolutely cracked me up what you called it like a, a low end something or other. It was a. Um, like you said, it could. Like it's great <laughs> in a pinch. Like you run over there and yeah. you grab what you need. I mean, you know, really, if you buy a drill there, tools, it's guys. only going to last you a few. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, it's so affordable. I forget like what you called it. Yeah. So funny. <laughs> you can get a whole new like equipment for like 12 bucks. Scoot like it each up tool. a bit if you don't care. Uh, of course, dear. Um, but yeah, it's. I love Harbor Freight. And I bought like literally the whole store of 
Cricut tool art alternatives and spent like thirty dollars. So they have kits like these tools right here for like one ninety nine. Oh wow, yeah. And it's like Such a great alternative if you're you know wanting to spend more money on really quality um, projects instead of having to spend it on you know other things. It's a great alternative. Or maybe you're like crafting with friends, you're going to do something with the kids mm -hmm. and you need a lot of something, but you don't need it forever. Oh, that's a great, yeah. if you're going to do a craft class mm -hmm. and you want to get a bunch of these so everyone isn't having to share. I love that. Because let's get it real, like even though we did the video on the alternative, look what I'm using today. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has, I mean, you pay $12 for this one weeding tool and you pay it every month, but because we, we have to change ours out like all the time. and. People ask all the time, Tanner, how often should I change my blade? How often should I get a, use a new mat? And it's really just based on how much they craft. So it's the same thing with your weeding tool. But yes, so we've weeded the bread out, so we'll now be able to just peel this bad boy up. If we had that pretty green, we would have used green. We've got to find out what this like sea foamy sage, sage green is. Yep. <laughs> so we're and super excited. I just want to read Ms. Donna's comment. She Donna. said, anyone thinking about the yearly membership, stop thinking and just grab it. Aww. You won't be sorry. It's the best thing and worth every penny. I love oh, well, it. Thank, thank you, you so much, We don't Donna. really have to do anything, Tanner. They just, <sighs> I know. our members do all the work. I know. They're so sweet. They're so supportive and we love it. And Dawn wants to know, will this membership work with the Cricut Explorer? Yes. You are able to take advantage of it as long as you have a machine compatible with Cricut Design Space that takes png and svgs or not even design space if not even design a, space a, silhouette mm -hmm. all of it it's just so got to work with so, png and svgs so good but yeah we're having a lot of fun just crafting away we're going to now cut the black layer of the project um so we're super excited do you want to uh, press that flash in oh one second we, we love to give more pressure yeah, yeah okay you're good um, we our just blade's to, just not the newest yeah do you so when your blade like feels like it's going out just give it more pressure is one of my favorite things because I want to I want to save that money. All about saving that money. Those are pricey too. Yeah, definitely they're not free. <laughs> Cricket. And Tanner, I'm just letting you know, Elaine Hi, went Elaine. to Hobby Lobby after she saw all your fines and she got her some fines. <laughs> my 90% off at my store was not near as good as the fines I found in Knoxville, which is like an hour from her here. Her 90% off was like a shelf. It, it was, was like one it shelf. was like smaller than an end cap. Oh, you need to come to our ninety percent off. It's like six aisles. Whoa, I would die. ours I has so only been three. Garage, Tanner, we would start elbowing <laughs> You'll people. You get like a sign like this, and even though it's not made very well, I'm like, it's a dollar. Look, a all of our like all of our stuff's over there. I did yeah. the same thing. <laughs> well, it's like a seventy dollars <laughs> sign. That's like four bucks. <laughs> I love I have it. so much of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's really, it's great. I mean, everyone needs it. You're gonna be able to cricket those signs. You're gonna be able to do who knows what with those signs. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. But yes, I'm so glad, Elaine. I love that we're enabling people. We are. <laughs> we're enabling, we're enabling we nothing. to save money. Well, so I literally posted on Instagram that I was like, I'm not spending any money. I've spent I so much that. money. <laughs> And then he literally announced he was going on a spending freeze. And I was the best part. And like was, eight hours I later, I was serious. Like it wasn't buggy like, full. You know, I was serious. I was like spending. You were serious freeze. right then. And, <laughs> and then I wake up and I'm like, I want to avoid Amazon Prime Day. Do not want to even look, linger. I've already furnished my house. I'm good. He like, did an Instagram vote on if he needed more soap or not. From the and everyone Amazon. was telling me to order more Myers, and then I realized I don't even like that scent. You can't have them enabling <laughs> you. So then, what scent was it? I don't know. Was it the green one? I don't much care for the green one. I love the blue one. I love basil. No, we're thinking of the blue one. I don't like the green one. I love the green one. You do not. It's basil. I don't like it. I love it. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's mm. like the flagship one, I think. Do you, you use Myers? Mm -hmm. Do you, which? What's your favorite Myers product? The holiday ones are I where like it's the at. Dish soap. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Have you no, this is obsessive with the Myers, so I just bought it to try it one time. I haven't bought it again. But the they have dish um, things for your dishwasher. Mm -hmm. They work pretty good. I think I might have got those from um, like Grove, Grove. Collaborative or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you still part of Grove? Do you well, like it? Okay, so this is not good. 
This is not. <laughs> you know how they always send you ads to be able yeah. to get this stuff for free? So mm -hmm. I just use a new email address and then I go in right away and I cancel the subscription. <laughs> Do it, girl. <laughs> well, that's what everyone did at that um, at the Alt Summit, like a few years back. Yeah. But then people didn't know that they were going to be on a subscription. I and everyone. Did. It makes you check them out. They, yeah. They tell you. Yeah. They people tell are you. confused. They're I, just clicking. I've friends. never used Grove. My mom uses Grove sometimes, but um, they have other things besides the membership. Or do you have oh, yeah. to be a member to... Yes. Well, no. So when you order stuff, it tries to put you in a subscription. Oh, okay. But they have, like, these glass bottles for your cleaners, and the cleaner refill comes in a tiny little tube, and you put it in there and put water, so it saves, like, waste. But this is, a Meyer, this is not a Myers product. Those aren't Myers. That's a Grove. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then they have this dishwasher or a dishwashing, um, like, a brush. I've and seen so it. And so then you I just have change it. out the little head. Yeah. Yeah, I love that thing. Okay. It's awesome. I think that's what my mom ordered. She was like, I think it was an add-on. And she's like, I just got it. I'm like, this is great. Works great. Um, so that's cool. Okay, we've got uh, a few things. We've got a few got things. A few Rachel, things. don't you love... Is Rachel not just like... She's yeah, over here like, keeping sorry. us going. Do you want to come to California sometime? <laughs> uh, you know, Tanner has tried to drag me to California several times. And every time... Way to Salt Lake. There's just been some blessing from above that's got me out of it. She almost so. had to go to Palm what? Springs. I did. But I did. did. Nice. There. Listen, nice I'm not ride. a traveler, travel. Jennifer. I'm not. No. If I stay in Tennessee traveling. the rest of my life, I would be completely fine. Well, oh. maybe the beach every now and again. But, <laughs> okay, but, let's handle these things, uh, Rachel. Maureen wants to know, she has like a semi-permanent car, which feels to me maybe a leased car, okay? Okay. And she wants to make a car decal. Do you think the Cricut Maker could cut through like the magnetic sheets? Yes. So even the Explorer is able to cut through the Cricut magnetic sheets. Well, awesome. Um, but also, it's a nice to note that you can use the permanent vinyl, and even though it says it's permanent, when it's on glass and stuff like that, it will come off really easily. Right. So if you want a semi-permanent decal, that's also going to work for you. You can use removable vinyl, and just as a different type of adhesive that you may need to change out maybe in three to six months versus eight to 12. Yeah, but you can so peel it, it off. It depends on where you're, you're based in. And acetone like does a really good job with the residue. Rachel, give them, give them the details Listen. on why you need the acetone. You just need the acid, and you can get it, um, it you, you can get it like the Dollar Tree, Walmart. It's what you take your like acrylic nails off with. Yeah. Joe, you know Joe Flo. He yes. buys it by the gallon. We don't no, need no, to no, do no, that. You, you know. I love when I do that. I, I thought that was too <laughs> small, and I was like, "What?" So here's how you can save it. Vinyl's forgivable, guys. Mm -hmm. I totally thank you, Jennifer. He accidentally just sliced. I just sliced through. Bless it. I'm literally insane. But you, it just comes off with the acetate or acetone. I said acetate. Um, and then something else we have. Give us um, the second camera so we can weed. Someone's having some trouble finding a fine point blade. Do you think Michaels has them? Michaels should have fine point blades. You can order them off Cricut.com. We would love the second best way to support what we do here is to use our links down below. Um, for no extra cost to you, it can support the um, electricity. It supports Rachel. It supports me. Um, so it's a nice little um, thing that we earn a small commission when you use our link. So Cricut also has great coupons, so go find you some great coupon codes to use as well. Um, that's really great. And you can use our link. So it's a two for one. You get a little discount, find you a good savings, and it's a lot, a lot of fun. And so, we have some people that are joining in late. They want to know who our guest is today. Our guest is our friend <laughs> Jennifer from Smart Fun DIY in the best craft rooms Instagram. Jennifer, tell us what <laughs> your favorite thing about being a craft blogger is. Oh, geez. Um, I, I mean, probably one of my favorite things is the conversations with people. Yeah. Like when they email or, you know, they've read something and mm -hmm. they email and they have an experience with it. Or really when they try something and they're like, yeah. oh my gosh, I did this. Or I used your Ikea shopping guide to plan my craft room. You have an Ikea shopping guide? Yeah, it's a Specific for craft rooms? It's a whole <gasps> shopping list. I went through the Ikea catalog and the store for hours and figured out every single thing you could want What? Yeah, I need cool. to see that from our it's next cool. trip. So here's what I do. I don't know if you're like this, but I get overwhelmed weeding things, especially that are this big. Mm -hmm. So I like to go in sections. I like to go kind of like line by line and try to organize or start on a side and kind of work my way around. So I'm going to make sure. They're yelling at you because you didn't burnish. Yeah, I did. I did it real quick. Pat, he did it real quick. I did it real quick, but he I did need, a real quick burnish. I may need to do it again. It's okay. 
Uh, and I wanted to read a comment. Oh, Hi, right. Tanner. This is Ashley from Knoxville, but currently in Morristown for work. Oh, this my gosh. This is my very first active live stream that I've been able to be in. Ashley, oh. that is so funny. We, if you didn't know, we live in Morristown, we so do. I hope you're enjoying your work day. We are here. Um, here in Morristown. You've got the A with you, Tanner. Um, I'm, I'm sorry? Sure. I think you've got the A with you. Oh, I'm not even paying attention. I have a lot of letters with me right now. Do, 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 do. Yeah, if you all um, ever... I'm pretty much at the Ingalls on the West End every morning after my gym class. So you can <laughs> to go get find his me. Starbucks. Sometimes it doesn't get coffee though, he just gets water. I love just my depends. water. So now if you all are like, I'm getting oh my gosh, very coffee, overwhelmed with all these pieces of vinyl. So now I'm gonna be like, these need to go back down and then I'm gonna go cut all this extra off. <laughs> happens okay, to me I all the time too. you've got to or Don't, yeah go, you get overwhelmed it sticks to everything so like right now this g um is wanting to stick because of that little piece so then that e is wanting to stick and that i isn't wanting to i think pat may have been right maybe i didn't burnish did you see me burnish you this? did but you i didn't do near enough <laughs> And you this see, is, and this is a great example of the difference between burnishing and not burnishing yeah mm -hmm. you can see what happens so then you find a stopping point here and then you decide, oh, I need to burnish some more. Do you want to have the honors of burnishing? Hey, Give us the burnish. good burnishing. Yeah. I don't want to. Try not to rip any of the letters off. It's a little bit easier after you've weeded some, but yeah, you just give it that firm pressure. It's all good. And guys, we have extended it for 20 more spe seats. There is the exclusive 20 seat extension of the coupon code FLASH35, which gives you $35 oh, yeah. off your summit, or anything that you're needing today, you can take full advantage of, um, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of people are saying yes to membership today because they do not wanna miss out on the best offer yet this year. So take full advantage of that if you have not already. Um, it's going to be probably one of our best deals of the year, um, so it's gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. So yes, go you know ahead and I grab it. This year too is, Tell us. Um, when I'm, I started working with the Cricut, because I was new to Cricut, and I actually started watching some of your videos. Uh -huh. And I've been doing die cut machines for what, 12 years? Oh, now. yeah. So 12 and a half years. You're not new to the concept or anything. Yeah, but there's some things that you, you pick up when you're watching, even if you're like not a beginner, you pick up when you're watching like your Tanner's videos. Yeah. And these tips, like the burnishing tip or anything like that, where it's like you may just not have learned it somewhere else. So even if you feel like, oh, I'm, I am experienced. You just may forget. Watch those videos. Just have them on while you're crafting because mm -hmm. then you'll pick up all these like little tips yeah. and things. Yeah, that's so true. I mean, I like, I'm always, I love watching crafters. I mean, I'm a huge advocate. And while we, you know, it's a great example to, because what we tell everyone is, if you love the YouTube channel, you'll love your membership mm -hmm. because it's really a sneak peek. And it's kind of like the exclusive in to make sure you're able to do everything you see us do. So we only pretty much use our artwork, um, which is awesome because if you're a member, you get access to all of it. And we hold nothing back, especially for those yearly members. Um, you know, so if you want the fonts, we make a ton of our font projects that are available only to yearly members. So it's a lot of fun. And now to save us ourselves from this overwhelm, we can just cut this off. Now the fonts, are they fonts they can install on their computer or do they just work like in the Cricut? No, they install them on their computer. There's training oh. for everything. Yeah, it was, believe it or not, it was one of our um, big challenges that people were asking for in um, this early last year. And we're like, we are not, you know, com that computer savvy. Um, so we went on a huge journey on developing fonts, making fonts, um, deciding what fonts that the industry needed, um, which was a lot of fun. But let me tell you, fonts are kind of hard to design and you have to, mm -hmm. you know, work really Very hard special. for them. Very different than um, just cut falls. So that's why it's such valuable. And we don't even know really what the value of a font is because there's so many different price points out there. So we just, you know, the more members we have means the more that we can pour into them. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we just, you know, as long as people keep saying it, yes, they love the membership, that we, you know, we're able to keep pouring in. And right now, starting in August, there'll be 20 new fonts a month. So if Whoa. you're, <laughs> if you're, yeah, we were kind of crazy because all year we have been releasing them um, in batches of 80. Oh so a, that was a little overwhelming for our, uh, us. So we knew our members were getting overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So instead of releasing 80 
every three months, we're releasing 20 just every month. Um, that way everyone is able to. You lost your eye. <gasps> Guys, we'll put it back. We'll put it back. This is Tanner okay. is yeah. the master of finding these little dots, and so. it's insane. He wants And Tanner, I picked up the D. No. He wadded up. Oh my gosh, Jennifer, like I promise I'm bottle. normally not this crazy of a crafter. I feel embarrassed. That's Didn't okay. I mean, it. it happens to all of us, and I think it's it's kind of funny when it happens on video because <laughs> people can figure out, like, when they do it, how, yeah. do, you re how do you fix it? Oh, uh, they love that, Jennifer. They love seeing our mistakes. Oh, and there is no dot on the eye. It didn't come with a dot on the eye, so that's good. That's good. I moved this dot on the eye. I'm sorry. It's hard to oh, we'll put it back. So, yeah, you can easily. The cool part is you can just, like, kind of drag it. Look at that. Look at that. Just with our little weeding tool. Rachel, are you getting this? Mm-hmm. Easy. Easy. And then I kind of like push it back down. And it's good. Okay. We put the rod back. We got the D after we lost it. Um, we'll weed that piece. Ta-da! So much fun. And then we're almost there. This is this is definitely a maybe a Netflix project. You know, pick your Christmas movie. Me and Rachel was kind of jamming to some Christmas tunes on the way to Hobby Lobby today. Mm. Um, so... If you need to get in that Christmas in July spirit, which we're all about, we're trying to make sure our members are not overwhelmed because we want to make sure that they ha have the best Christmas yet, as we should always want. Um, so we're trying to tell everyone why they need to get ahead on their Christmas. So doing their decor early um, is important. Getting that gift strategy down, mm -hmm. what you're budgeting for gifts. Make sure you know, you're know you not overspending just because. Um, and then that way, when the holidays get here, you're able to actually enjoy it. Because mm -hmm. do you not hate during that holiday time when you're just trying to stay afloat? Well, I don't feel that way during the holiday time, but my friends are. So I'm yeah. like, I'm ready to go have fun. Let's go do <laughs> cookie decorating. Let's make tamales. <laughs> and they're like, um, yeah, I'm swamped and busy. I'm making like 84 signs to give for Christmas presents. Right. And you're just like, dude, like, why did you not start on this in the summer? <laughs> yeah. Now, even though you're a craft blogger, do you make a lot of your own gifts? Do you start early or are you someone that just does not really give a lot? Because I don't give a lot of handmade gifts. Um, I do a lot of like the shirts because I feel like those are fun and easy. Um, and I just kind of do it based on personality. Like I know people that would appreciate a custom shirt. But some people, especially my age, just are not going to appreciate a handmade gift as much as I know other people would. So I kind of like pick and choose. Do you have a motto for like how you handle stuff like that? Um, I mean, yeah, I think about like the, the specific person, what they'll like. Yeah. Um, and, you know, if it's going to be something that's handmade, the more you can make it like custom mm -hmm. to them, like with mm -hmm. their name or some kind of saying they say or, you know, something that's super unique to them. Right. Um, like I'll do stuff like that, like make little, you know, cute gloves with some iron on. Or oh, like we do that. some of those. Yeah. Yeah. And put it in their little stocking or whatever. Yeah. Now, for some reason, everyone, from what I have read, always says that um, people in the South appreciate monograms way more than people out West or up North. Can you do skip you, that up for us? Do you agree there? with that? Like, do people uh, out West appreciate their monogram? Monograms or? feel, like, very formal. Okay. And I think in the South, like, formal is kind of a regular thing. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, in California, like, cause, you know, I'm from California. Yes. I think they, it's, like, a lot more casual. Okay, so you think, like, it's a little much to have your your customized monogram, at least for the culture and whatnot. I mean, there's people that do. Like, there's a house that I drive by every day when I pick my son up from mm -hmm. school, and they have a big, giant monogram on the front of their house. Oh, okay. So, like, you know, the signs with the letter, and it's got yeah, all the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the circle, and it's all circle right, right, right. and everything. Right, um, right, yeah, I mean, I think it just depends on the person. Like, if their style's formal, mm -hmm. like, you could totally gift that to them. Okay. Yeah, because I just, I don't know, like, Rachel monograms everything, and I think it's adorable. Guys I don't, don't monogram everything. I mean. I enjoy my, my, a good monogram. Rachel loves her monogram. You I can do. embrace it, Rach. Don't feel bad. Guys, I'm I want a monogram hat. Like an embroidered one. <laughs> she doesn't monogram anything, but she wants the monogram hat. <laughs> I want a monogram hat. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Well, and I think if you have good initials for monograms, like some initials, oh. like I and N and P, they look weird. There's a lot. It there's a lot more letters that look bad than look good. Yeah. Because we have to go through that a lot. Rachel, is it your new monogram? R E L. 
So L is always the middle, and then it's R and E. But it's her, not a bad monogram. But yeah. her old monogram was an H for her last name, so it looked a little bit more proportional even, because mm -hmm. the L gives that awkward space. Mm -hmm. and but I mean, it's in the middle, so it kind of... Yeah. But yeah. It, it's not a terrible monogram. But I've yeah. seen better. I've seen worse. You know how it goes. <laughs> See, mine's JPP, and it looks weird. Because the two Ps? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, my sister's is um, SES. Oh. Yeah. Or I guess in a monogram, it would there would be two S's right next to each other. You know? Right, 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 right. Yeah. That's but uh, we have a question. I think it's Matthew or maybe Melanie Mel hey. uh, wants to know, would reverse weeding work better for this project? If you feel more comfortable with reverse weeding, I say go for it. Sure. Um, either way works. We kind of give both. Now, Jennifer, have you ever reverse weeded? Uh, no, I don't know what this is. Maybe uh, I've done it and I don't know what it's called. So <laughs> you would, with the vinyl, just you'd cut it out and you wouldn't remove this. You would see all black. You put it on transfer tape. Oh, and weed it off. The and weed it off the transfer tape. Oh, no, that's really hard. With intricate projects, we have found it's actually really nice. Um, Rachel, do you want to give your input on when and how you like to reverse weed? Um, I like to reverse weed. I personally wouldn't reverse weed a project this large. Uh, small, intricate letters yeah, is really, yeah. really good. Are things that have a ton of detail, you know, it's so good to reverse weed. Because it keeps the little, tiny vinyl things. not coming yeah, up. Yeah, so like it's it. essentially once you're at a point, it's just like you're weeding HTV. Because you put HTV That's on true. the mat, shiny side down, which is backwards, which is why you mirror it and everything. But you go ahead and put the um, transfer paper on top of your um, vinyl before you even weed it. And then you pull it off backwards. And it's, it's a whole thing. But once you get to the point where you're weeding, it's just like you're weeding HTV. That's so true. It's, it's great for, you know, some projects like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. This is where we're like, okay, final little pieces. We're almost, we're almost at that finish line. And honestly... Aside from the mess ups that I made because we've been talking <laughs> and uh, answering questions, um, it wasn't too bad. We've got our two layers. It's going to be fun to put down and it's really easy. So do we have any questions, Rachel? Again, reminder, if you're just tuning in with us, 20 extra seats for the 20 or uh, the 20 seats for the $35 off flash sale. Go ahead and take full advantage of it right now. Um, yeah, I don't know why that happened. So also, I sometimes will before putting it down. This is the mm -hmm. last time to really like save it, if you will, so you can kind of pick it up and try to work it out. So that kind of helps a little bit, but you can always try to try <laughs> to save it. But you you know sometimes oh, yeah, no, sometimes I mean, it'll have that one little spot that only you know about. Um, so yes, 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 lots of fun. I've already cut this because that big old roll was giving us some trouble earlier. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off so we can save an extra piece. You guys love when I save transfer tape. So I'm just saving this. We can do like some little scrap pieces. Um, we just kind of keep a pile and we have a bin. We love recommending everyone to have a scrap bin because those scraps come in handy. Mm -hmm. You'd be so surprised how many projects come up that you can use your scraps. And Rachel, we're gonna reuse this transfer tape today. Absolutely we are. I'm so excited too. And a lot of people are now questioning the monograms. The la your last name is the middle initial, mm -hmm. and then um, on the left side is your first name, and on the right side is your middle name. That is the proper monogram. Yes. Now, do some people just say forget that and just go in order? Can does anyone know the history of why monograms are in that order? Tanner, you left, well, it's forgivable. You left a little bitty dot up on the top of the S, like something kind of got in there. We can peel that off later, though. Honey, oh, it's it off it. Yeah. top. It, it was on the other perfect. side. I'm sorry, I should have right. removed it. Right. Didn't want to freak anyone out. So I always burnish, and then after that, peel this back, like so. And then, now, we burnish again. Mm. This is a really, That's this a is... Tip. This is really important to burnish right here. Now don't burnish it too much if you have a new blade. That's true. Because that new blade wants to cut through a little bit of the backing and it's a little bit tricky, but our blade is not new. Yep. So now we can peel this back. You can kind of just see, you can always stop if there's a piece that's for, you know, giving you trouble, but follows. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's that was That was, that was the, that was me saving the day after my weeding was not too hot. Now go ahead and straighten it up if you don't care and then, uh, well, never mind. Wait, you want to zoom out? Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. They kind of want to see the whole project. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Nice. 
So we've got this whole frame right here. I'm going to keep it kind of straight. So you guys at home, help us line this out. We're doing what we call the taco method. So we kind of fold it up. Like a little taco shell. A little taco shell. And then we're going to try to decide where to place it. Rachel, how's this looking? What do you think, Rach? Looks good. Are you sure? Everyone mm -hmm. at home, let us know what you think. Yeah. Does this look good? Do we go for it, Rach? Do I just go for it? We'll line it up a little <laughs> bit. I mean, for I feel pretty confident with it. Like, I don't, I've, I want to keep my taco method, but if I line it up, what do you think? Do it up, down, to the side? I think it's good right there. Oh, yes. Okay, so I'm going to, I should have cut off some of the bottom of this transfer, but we're going to still do our taco method. Oh, now see, this is not good. It's a little crooked. Do you, do you see the crookedness, Rachel? Mm -hmm. Just a little. Just a little. Is it for so now I'm going to peel it up before applying any pressure. Ta-da! Now that is a not normally happening. So before, I'm going to cut this off because it, if you want to be able to truly strain it out, you want to be able to go in that little spot. And I don't want to have any issues. This is just one of those tricky things when you've got the... Yes, uh, now I can get down to it and really line it up. So I'm going to just look at it. How's this look now? Good. I like it. Jennifer, mm -hmm. do you think it looks good? Okay, we're rolling with it. I love it. And then we'll be able to add in our accents, which is over there. But first, we just got to burnish this down, just like so. And then if you have a bubble, you can kind of peel it up. Make sure you get any of that out. You're good. So yes, lots and lots of fun. And people make fun of me in live streams they did while you were gone, Tanner. I would legit put alcohol on the wooden oh, signs. Oh, Lord. I would. I would do it. What is wood go do with alcohol? Huh? This isn't like wood wood, though. Is it? I And hey, it dust gets on everything, Tanner. Just clean it up. Clean it up. Listen, I see you in the other camera. Listen, I can Lord. see you giving Jennifer okay, okay. judging look. <laughs> listen, if, if I can oh eliminate some variables of my project sometimes failing, then I'm going to do that. You go, Rach. You go. Well, have you ever been to the cell phone store and they put that little glass thing on the front of your phone? Yeah. And they uh -huh. have that. They put like a piece of sticky tape to get any excess wind. Oh. Off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could totally do that to the Ooh. surface ahead of time. Okay, Jennifer's kind of blowing my mind here with your this. Your old transfer tape. Your oh my, <laughs> that's a good idea. I like that a lot. And speaking of transfer tape, uh, Brooks wants to know: Can you stick the other layer to the same piece of transfer tape? Brooke, we're using it. We're reusing no, no, this no, big no. old like, piece. Can you add like, you know, how they do multi-layer oh, on the same piece of transfer you tape? You can, but be hard. for our situation, it's a little bit easier just to. Um, go ahead and place it down. So now I have this little this little situation right here. And for someone who just tuned in, they're wondering what kind of frame we have. It's a chalk couture frame. Be sure to get it at chalk couture. Um, I'm sure you can find someone to order from if you would like it. Um, I think we have a link down below. So we're actually going to reuse this transfer tape. So now we've already weeded it. Did I lose my... Oh, here it is. So and see, this is this a is filed curled up. Font. This is curled up. So how are we going to stick it down? I'm going to just sit it back on our mat. Smart. Why not, right? Mm -hmm. Stick it down so we're going to be able to have that control. It's all curled up. So then you can just take your transfer tape. And this has already been around the block once. Like, you can see we've used it once, and it's still going to work great. And this is just standard Cricut transfer tape. There's nothing special about it, nothing bad about it. Um, we're just going to use it again. The taco method would have helped a lot to get any bubbles that I have out. But oh, I'm like, where it at? <laughs> and this is a file, not a font. This is a file. So you can get this file in the membership. This is part of the Christmas in July. You were able to see it on the live stream Monday. And we are just so excited to get crafting in Christmas this early um we'll take a little break in like september and the rest of august to do some fall projects but in october we go crazy every day <laughs> all the time christmas um so we love it what are some of the things that you have diy in your house that um you kind of that even surprised you um i made like a big market sign in my kitchen uh-huh and I cut a stencil with vinyl. Love it. it. And um, 
because I wanted one that looked like a vintage old sign, like mm -hmm. you know that you know Hobby Lobby has a reproduction. Oh, of them. oh yeah. But it's like that kind of stuff is just so cool because it's custom, it's yours, nobody else has that. Right. I love it. It's so fun. I, there's, you know, with our the house, we have just been decorating so much. I want to DIY more, but uh, my other house I uh, moved out of really needs the DIY love. So mm. we're, we're planning more DIYs for my grandparents now. She wants us to change out some lights. Oh. I know. Yeah, we're so excited that uh, my grandparents are only 10 minutes away now. So I'm there able to grocery shop with Mama. She's not having to drive like an hour. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. She's not driving an hour. Um, look at that. Two layer project nice. in two seconds. We have a sign. And Jennifer, if you were making more of these, this transfer tape could last you two or three more times. Mm -hmm. I mean, stick it back on the backing and you've got a great piece of transfer tape. This is probably the first time in months that I've actually stuck it back down. And then who knows, Rachel, maybe we'll try to use it again tomorrow. Hey. That would be a good challenge. Yeah. <laughs> See how, how many, many lives we can get through yeah. the same piece of transfer tape. <laughs> well, that could be that could be the true testament because you know some people say they like wash the shirts and you know things. You can just watch it every day and see when it starts failing. <laughs> We love it. Rachel, what questions do we have? What has everyone been doing? It's been a fun project. People have been content and happy. They've been happy. They've been leaving their comments on how they love the sign, how what they what colors they would do, Ooh, which is great. I love it. Um, Beverly said it turned out great. Thanks, Beverly. Um, yes. Let me see. Someone's asking you, Rachel asked Tanner a few weeks ago if he had the inside scoop on the new maker colors. I have no inside scoop on anything. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, but we do have the new tools. Let's give them a sneak peek. Jennifer also has these new tools um, at her house waiting for her. So I was yeah, like, I hadn't she hadn't seen them. <laughs> but here they are, guys. We did not get that final tool that they had. So the HSN bundle, the engraving tip, and the fine debossing tip, and then the wavy blade. I'm super excited. What I love is that if you already have the scoring wheel, um, it's, it's part of their new quick snap housing, so you can get that. But to get this bundle at HSN, you had to you had to get another one, mm -hmm. which is fine. I mean, you always can use an extra. Um, it could break or go bad or something. But yeah, here it is. We have some videos coming up, um, at least three or four in the next few weeks that we have planned for this right here. So stay tuned for a full review and things like that coming to the channel. Guys, the Summer Summit is quickly, quickly approaching. So if you have not got your ticket, 20 seats at the $35 flash sale. So use the code FLASH35, get your Summer Summit ticket. Have I told you about our Summer Summit? Or any of our summits. One. I have seen your other summits and I was like blown away by So they're here. they're legit. They're a lot of fun. It's a crafty weekend for the price of a hotel stay. So it's an at home virtual craft summit. If we've always, you know, for the first like fifty sent out a little special gift. Um we've definitely surpassed fifty this year for the summer one, but the fall one will be here and some other fun stuff coming soon. But um it's ten classes hour-long classes they get the recordings and it's a two-day event so five to six hours each day it's just this next saturday and sunday so not this one but the 26th and 27th 27th and 28th 27th and 28th um so it's a virtual one they're able to tune in me and rachel all the whole days are hosting it and then we play the classes this year we have leah griffith um, alexandria from the hedgehog hollow teach them back to school crafts um carly hall who was a former cricket employee has a whole class on infusible ink so she helped like launch it so yeah she's giving us the good details on infusible ink at the summit um, because all of us that want to take advantage of it need to know all the good stuff so she has a class and we give supply list ahead of time so they can craft right along with us nice. yeah so it's a yeah. huge value lifetime access and we love it but they we all have such a fun time because it's a weekend that you can kind of put as like personal time that you're like oh I can't hang out with you I have, a, I have an online summit to go to and it sounds way more important um, than just like in your PJs like we have like these little um, <laughs> it was really funny at the last one Joseph put some uh, elevator music so we give like breaks to get a snack breaks to take the dogs out breaks a coffee break and it's like this elevator music and then like people's <laughs> in the chat room just chatting it's a lot of fun it's one of my favorite weekends like all throughout the year work-wise so 
It's our own little virtual summit. So <laughs> we just love them um, and they're for all of our friends. So if you love the live streams, you're gonna definitely wanna have that um, summit ticket to hang out with us and craft with us. Um, so take advantage of that. And do we have any questions for Jennifer? We have Jennifer's link to her blog down below. We have her best craft rooms um, link. She has lots of tutorials on IKEA hacks for shopping IKEA for your craft room. Lots of organization, mm -hmm. food. Yeah, recipes, travel, like home decor, home improvement. She's got you covered on the <laughs> all the different DIYs. So definitely check out her site. Check out the best craft rooms Instagram. I love it. Um, there's a link on the best craft rooms Instagram to find your other Instagram. So Jennifer's all over the place um, and we love it. So thanks for being here. I'm glad thanks you got to stay me. with us. We love a couple things. It's so, we always such do. a small world. Um, we love it. Are any questions, Rachel? We do. We got a couple things. Yay. Um, first, Kimberly said she went to Harbor Freight and bought tools today from watching your video. Woohoo! We're, we're getting right. people out the door. Right. We're getting people moving. <laughs> and Sasset wants to know when, when is the spring summit and when uh, can we expect like a sign up a few weeks earlier than that? Because she really wants to sign up. She wants to get the kit. She wants to get everything she can get. <laughs> She's wanting to know about next year's summit. We do not have a date yet for that. She's, um, she's wanting to know, is it normally in April, May? Like, she's really wanting um, I believe our last one was in March. I think, yep. March. Mm -hmm. So we usually do our spring one in March. Um, Sign-ups for our next summit will be available after and during our fall summit. Or, excuse me, our summer summit. So you'll have the details. We'll have, have all that de details over... Um, in the next week at the spring, at the summer summit for the next summit. Lord help me. Um, <laughs> it's been a long day, um, but yes, thank you so much for being so passionate and excited. She must've had a lot of fun at the last spring summit. You know what I mean? It's gonna be good. So hope to see you at the summer summit so you get details on the, the next summit, but yes. Okay, Rachel, any other questions? It looks like we're all happy. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jennifer, for being here with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us again and making a lot of a lot of fun signs. And we'll see you back here tomorrow for our last day of Christmas in July week. So we're wrapping out Christmas in July. Oh, you'll week. see them again. Don't you worry. Oh, we'll, we got we'll lots more projects. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.